Hello, welcome to the full bust adjustment tutorial. I'm going to try and uh, explain how I usually do this alteration on my patterns. I'm um, going to show you the two measurements that you really need, the upper bust and the full bust. These are best taken when you're wearing a really good fitting bra. Tighten those bra straps, make sure your bust is in the best place possible and then take these measurements accurately. As you can see, the orange ribbon is the upper bust and the full bust is the black ribbon. Once you've got these measurements taken nice and accurately, you can establish whether you need to do a full bust adjustment in the first place. Usually patterns allow a two inch or five centimeter difference between your upper bust and your full bust measurement in their patterns. So if you're two inches and five centimeters different or less, then you don't need to do a full bust adjustment. But if you happen to be more, then you would probably benefit from one. So when you've established what your measurements are, you can begin to start making your adjustment to the pattern. For this, I'm going to be using the front bodice of my Salvington top pattern because it is just the front that you need to alter. So now you've got your measurements, you'll want to choose a pattern size based on your upper bust measurement. Once you've done this, you need to lay the pattern piece on your body to establish where your bust point is, not the one that's already on the pattern, but where your bust actually lies. Mark it under the pattern with a cross and then Use a ruler and a pen to draw a vertical line from the marked point, your bus point, to the hem. Try and make sure the line's parallel to the grain line on the pattern and draw downwards. Then you need to draw another line horizontally through the middle of the bus start, meeting the bust point. Once you've done this, you can draw a line that goes up towards the armhole. Uh, it's best if it hits the lower third of the armhole, so I tend to put it below any notches. OK, so now I've got my three lines. I'm going to cut my pattern piece along this first vertical line up to the bust point and then pivot and cut along the line that goes up to the armhole. But I'm just going to leave a little bit on there attached so that I can swing the pieces out. Now I'm cutting the red line that divides the dart and again I'm leaving it just short of cutting right through so I can move these pieces around. So I'm going to stick this pattern piece now, anchor it to a piece of pattern making paper. You could use the Swedish paper or some freezer paper. I think even just sticking together some A4 sheets is useful at this point. So I've just anchored the top with sellotape and I'm going to draw a line at right angles from the centre front or the grain line across roughly halfway between the bust point and the hem. It doesn't matter too much. And I'm going to cut across that so that piece is free. There we go. Now the next bit is where your measurements come in. So we're going to make this space equal half the difference between my high bust and low bust. So for this example, I'm using a difference of six centimetres across the whole of the measurement. So I'm going to divide that by two, so three centimetres on each side. So this is the crucial bit where you want to measure that space and make sure that whatever the difference is between your high bust and your full bust be it six centimetres or ten centimetres, that you divide that by two. So if it's a ten centimetre difference between your high bust and full bust, 
you'd want to mark five centimeters at this point. And I'm now just putting marks along to make it a parallel line so that I know that space is the same all the way down. Like I say, using a mic example, it's a three centimeter space. Now this piece that I cut off the bottom at the front, this rectangle needs to be in line with the bottom at the side now. So we've effectively made the over bust measurement a little bit longer too. So it's traveling further over your bust because your bust is larger. So we've made that line longer, but that gaps remains the same, three centimeters and three centimeters. So I'm going to tape down these other pieces now and anchor those down. So that essentially is your full bust adjustment. Now you just need to cut through and redraw your dart. So this full bust adjustment is obviously for a fairly simple bodice with just the one dart in it. There are other versions that you can look up online. They have them for dolman sleeves and uh, for princess seams and things. It's a slightly different process, but it's based on the same principle. But this is a really good starting point if you wanted to try and adjust your own patterns. You'll find you'll get such um, a better fit doing it like this if you have a small frame but a larger bust. It's really worth doing. Now then, I want to redraw this dart and I'm going to mark those points. These are the original dart at this end and I've marked the center point between those two points. This is my bust point I'm doing it from and I'm drawing a line down the center of the dart or what will be the center of the dart from my bust point. Now I'm gonna fold my paper. This is a bit fiddly, so bear with me fold my paper and match those bits of dart as if I was going to sew them. I've got the bulk of the dart pointing towards the hem and I'm just going to cut along that side seam there so it's all neat and in line with that. And then when you unfold it, you can see the darts pointing down there as it would be when you make up your garment. Ta -da! You've got a beautiful dart. So the last bit to do is to mark from that bus point that we put in, that's our bus point, mark back just over two centimetres, two and a half centimetres an inch, and this will become the new point of your dart. So rejoin up that point with the original start of the dart at the seam line. So this section now that I'm shading is our new dart section for my size. Enjoy.